What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I played at Northwood Golf Course over in Santa Rosa, California. A little nine holer. Took a little break from our family vacay. My brother and I decided to go out. I'm just going to be voicing over my round. Ryan wasn't with us, unfortunately, so it was just me and my brother. You'll see a few of his shots, but you'll see all of my shots. And um, I'm just going to be voicing over, talking about what was going through my head. Hope you guys like it. If you haven't liked or comment or subscribed to our channel yet, please go do one of those things. We really much appreciate it. Other than that, uh, enjoy the video, you guys. everybody welcome back to the golf fanatics channel thank you guys for coming here and supporting us we appreciate all who have liked comment and subscribe to our channel today you're seeing a new course we are at northwood golf course here in gurnville california some call it gurneyville i call it gurnville i don't know it's uh very close to bodega bay to put a geographic reference on that but we're at a new course we are at one of the top rated nine hole courses in the area uh, my brother was at a winery, said he was talking to a friend who was in the PGA Tour and said this was probably the best nine hole course he has ever played at. So I'm excited to be here uh, today. You're going to see a lot of me just playing. I'm going to be voicing over uh, back at the place and reviewing this round. You're going to see some of Jay's shots, but you're going to see mostly all of my shots. The par here, I believe, is 36. So I'm going to try to shoot at least 42 or better. My first hole didn't go too well, but... I play bogey golf and that's all I can ask for. But if you guys have not done yet, make sure you go subscribe, like the channel, and leave a comment of what you think of this course. Thank you guys for watching. All right, I'll see you guys on hole one. We're playing 293 yards. First hole of the day, people were watching. It was cold outside. What am I trying to do? Place it down the middle of the fairway so I'm not using my driver. Take my four hybrid here. And of course, you know I place this one to the left after I chunked it and was not a very good start to the hole. People were watching, left myself with 140 left to the flag, took a seven iron here and punched it, but I topped it. This round's not going very good off the rip, so I'm getting kind of scared. So I take my 52 here. I'm just trying to put this one close. Best club in the bag. Try to give myself an opportunity to put it close. And I did just that, left myself with maybe a 10 footer for par. So can't complain too much. Uh, I wish I could have been a little Let's closer, but I actually gave this putt a very Sorry, good run, and you'll notice that I putt pretty well today. I just left a lot of things short, but not this one, just missed to the right, but I gave myself a tap-in bogey. I'll take that any day. Are you kidding me to start around? Bogey golf is always good golf. And then we have hole number two. Hole number two was a par four playing 382 nice. yards. Played a driver here, and I actually tried to play my slice a little bit, so you'll see my ball starts really far to the left almost hits those trees but i escape them and put myself in the middle of the fairway with maybe 145 yards left so you'll see i have an eight iron here just try to choke down on it and i pulled it to the left bet you can't guess what i hit yep i hit one of those trees balls dropped straight down left myself with maybe 70 yards left still i uh, had my 52 in hand i said why not i did well on the first hole with it so let's do it again and i placed this one to perfection put it even closer and had another great look at a par but like i said earlier my putting was short so i had maybe six feet or seven feet to the hole here thought i gave it a great line uh, a lot these greens weren't really crazy they weren't breaking a lot it was cold dewy so the ball was really slow but anyway walked away with another bogey so i'm two over at this point now we're at hole number three first part three of the day and it was playing 145 yards i wanted to play a little draw here because that tree to the left actually came into play if i were to swing regularly and i did just that i played a draw uh, put this one draw. right in the middle of the green 
left myself with a 15 nice. to 20 footer so it was actually a pretty long putt but i was a gir on a par three and i was looking for a birdie opportunity uh, you'll notice with this putt i actually gave it a really good run and i was really really happy about this uh ooh, yeah, there one time. left it short my brother was so mad that i missed that he really wanted me to make a birdie so I didn't make the birdie, ended up tapping that in for par, so I was pretty happy about it. Dang. And then on hole number four, this was a slight dog leg right. It was a par four playing 291. So I took my driver again, and you'll see my ball start in the middle of the fairway and just work its way around those trees, bent around them, leaving me with maybe 70 yards to uh, the green or so. So I took my 52. Notice how my feet are above my ball. Did not account for that. So what do I do? I aim straight at the flag and ball starts off to the right hit the green and actually rolled off a little bit um so i'll be off to the on the fringe i could have chipped it but the chip was just too unreliable there uh, there was a lot of hills so i ended up putting this and it was actually really undulated right here and i'm very very shocked that i got the ball as close as i did another tap in for par i was super juiced with the way that this round was going so far so i can't complain so I think Jay and I can both say how happy we are we came out here. Uh, and thank you to the girls for letting us go golfing on our trip to uh, Guerneville. That is uh, hard to come by nowadays as we came to Guerneville with a family trip, not a golfing trip. But hey, you know we got to make the most out of it. Sad Ryan can't be here, but you know it happens. It's hard to pass up a top rated nine hole course like this this is absolutely beautiful hopefully you guys are enjoying the views and hopefully you're enjoying some shots as well let us know what you guys think in the comments about uh how i'm playing so far hole number five first par five of the day playing 469 wow. yards very narrow oh. fairway fairway i debated on bringing my driver out or not but i said you know what why not and it worked out started to the left to where those trees were my ball literally trickled right back to the middle of the fairway I took Old Reliable out. You already know what happened with Old Reliable. I peered this ball, played actually a little draw, thought this ball was gonna run up, run up to the green, ended up leaving it just a little short, but I had a chip on for an eagle opportunity. This was definitely a makeable chip that I could have made, but I didn't make it. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Left this ball a little short actually. Got a really good kick there, but then I realized I was putting for birdie and this was maybe a five, six footer. I wish I could. I really want to put my chips a lot closer to give myself a better chance for to give myself a lower score but another tap in for par can't complain at all about that so i'm feeling good so far now we're moving on to hole number six this was my favorite hole on the course it was a par four playing 280 yards and it was a severe dog leg right so you needed to put this ball in the middle and just let that ball work right over and i did just that it's kind of cool. People are watching us uh, hit, and my brother and I both hit very good shots. I stayed so shot straight. Stayed That's really, really straight. But you'll notice, put this ball within maybe 50 yards of the green. So I actually took a 60 degree here. Kind of wish I used a 52 because you'll notice that I left this one a little short. Just pop this one up. Didn't put it as close as what you should when you're using your wedges. So I didn't really give myself a good look at birdie from being that close. So essentially, my drive was just pointless because if you can't put it close, then what does it matter? had maybe a 15 footer here and I was putting uphill and I just I took too much off of it and you'll notice that I try to put uphill a lot or give myself an opportunity to put uphill a lot but if you leave it short it doesn't really matter at all you might as well put downhill and we have hole number seven it, it was a par four playing 300 ball's gonna run yards. I actually had the best view on the course but camera just doesn't do justice right here but my ball was striped right down the middle did not turn just stayed really really straight gave myself a, a tough look on my second shot the flag was actually to the right of those trees that are on my left and I took a seven iron here I choked down I just did a little half swing and I actually closed my face a little bit so I could draw it around that little bend and ended up leaving myself right in front of the bunker here I used a 52 I was just trying to punch it down there and give it get it close honestly and then you'll see here i get really excited because the ball came so close to going in to that go. hole so that would have been nice to have for a birdie save uh, instead i left myself with maybe a 10 footer for a par and this one i was putting uphill again 
And of course I left it short. I was getting so upset because I would take my second ball back and I would put it and it would go in every single time. And then hole number eight was the second part. Oh, get in the hole. Part three playing 120 yards. It was an elevated tee box. So in my mind, nice. I was going to use a pitching wedge here, but I figured elevated tee box, let's club down a little bit. So I have my 52 in hand, hit this ball really pure. I just ended up short of the green on the right side of that middle bunker. I uh, left myself with a very easy chip. I was going to putt this, but I was leaving all my putts short, so I thought I'd run this one up there a little bit. And I actually gave it a decent run. It got a really good kick right here and read that green fine and it started rolling over. I just didn't hit it hard enough. Uh, but a tap in for a par <coughs> on a par three, when par threes are the hardest hole in the course, in my opinion, I'm okay with that. And the last hole of the day, it was a par five playing 532 yards. It was another narrow fairway, so using my driver was risky, but your boy was hitting his driver just fine. Place this one in the middle of the fairway. I wish I was a little bit more right of the nice fairway, shot. but I mean, hitting a fairway is not a bad thing and I can't complain too much about it. But you will notice that it was a dog leg left still here. So I was trying to take my hybrid and I was trying to close my face a little bit, close my stance a little bit, and I was trying to play a draw. And when I try to do all that and I try to think too much, I topped it. Didn't end up too bad. It actually rolled for quite a little ways. Honestly, may have rolled further than what my ball normally rolls. Here, look at my feet. You'll notice I'm deciding if I should be open or closed. And I went back and forth in my head multiple times. I should have just clubbed up and gave myself no. enough club to get to the green. Instead, I chunked it, ended up short, and I took a 60 degree here. And I was trying to get above this hill, so I played it in front of my stance a little bit. I actually gave it a very good rant run, but I just ran it past the green or past the flag a little too much. Uh, so now you'll see I'm putting for par here. And I'm trying to get this one close because it is downhill and it was going very fast after the sun came out. And again, I just left this one short. I was getting so upset with myself leaving all these putts short, but it is what it is. All right, golf fanatics. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope you found it somewhat informative uh, and also um, just, just how to play a new course. This is a new course for me and I actually shot pretty well. Your boy shot a 40. I shot two better than what I wanted to. So I got four over par, which is really, really good for me. Brother shot a 42. Uh, this course, as you guys could see, was absolutely pure. There was no bad views. Every single hole was just trees, trees, trees. They, man, this place was beautiful. It's actually trees kind of scare me, so I'm surprised I actually shot a 40. But other than that, this course was absolutely amazing. Uh, this is definitely a place I'd recommend to come out to. It's in Santa Rosa. It's one of the best nine hole courses in the area so make sure you get out here and check it out if you guys have not done yet please make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel if you guys want to it really helps our channel grow and we really appreciate everything that you guys do uh, we just reached the 500 mark which is actually kind of sick so we're kind of excited our channel is growing and ryan and i are having so much fun doing this we appreciate giving we we love giving you guys vlogs and we appreciate all you guys watching so thank you guys for watching we will see you on our next video. Y'all take care.